All right, back to school season well underway with students settling into the new school semester across our area. Yeah, <laughs> and we've look. got all the students out this morning. Love the energy and all the cheering. Alex Fees is live this morning in St. Charles County at the Francis House School District with what we can expect this year. Good morning, Alex. Good to see you inside. Yes, uh, City Michelle, thank you very much. Good to be here. Listen, City Michelle, listen. Do you hear that? That is as quiet as this gymnasium has been in the last 90 minutes, I gotta tell you. They're gonna fire it up again. We got about 100 students here, representing probably a half dozen student groups here at Francis Howell Central High School this morning. We're gonna hear from them in just a minute. But first, the principal here is Dr. Suzanne Leak. Dr. Leak, thank you for being here this morning. And she is a Francis Howell product, correct? I am. She graduated in 2020, if I'm not right. mistaken. Right, just about, <laughs> yes. What about that? Eight years in the district, two as principal here at Central, correct? Yes, been some of the best times of my life here. Uh, we started last week, welcomed about 1,700 students in, and had a phenomenal start to the school year. And it was like the hottest week of your life. It was the hottest week of our life. We uh, melted a bit. It slowed us down a bit in some regards, but we kept going, and we are going to continue strong this week. All right, what about, uh, it's not unusual for a school district kicking off a new school year to have transportation issues. You guys have some transportation changes the superintendent, Dr. Rumpus, was telling me about because there's a new addition regarding how far students have to walk. Is that correct? Yes, in order to maximize our transportation efficiency, we have uh, made a determination that students who live within one mile of the school um, will walk to school. However, here at the high school level, that's not that doesn't affect too many of our students. A lot of our students drive and uh, buddy up with their friends and uh, find transportation if they are within that one mile. Dr. Leek, it's easy to say, but you were telling me that character matters here at Central. How, do, how, how is that true? Yeah, we really pride ourselves here at Health Central on character and community building. Um, it makes my job really easy because it's the culture here in the building. So they hold themselves accountable to just treating people with respect. Um, we are unique in the fact that we sit right in the heart of Cottleville. And so the community itself is kind of somewhat built around the school. And we have lots of opportunities to show people how um, it is um, the most appropriate to treat people with respect and honor each other's dignity and we just really pride ourselves on that here at Howell Central. All right, Dr. Leek, thank you very much. We've got to wrap this up because we want to share some of this attention with the students. We're going to fire it up here. We have the marching band, 131 members strong under the direction of Nathan Griffin this morning. We also have cheer and dance and about three different sports here at Francis Howell Central High School this morning. Thank you, Alex, for that report. 